Open door, get shocked, get a uh, big old cloud of shocks all around me, lose three or four bars of uh, health, then have the Ashen Brawler step out. I don't like the positioning here either. God damn it! <laughs> what is with these things? Another you die turret! It's not the finale. Why why have I got so many you die turrets rolling around? What is this lab? This is weird. Closed door. <laughs> I got one more possible way in. Uh, which I'm not liking either. I mean, this is where we originally heard the uh, the combo of zombie and mechanical, right? I mean, yeah, it could be the mutagen room like I talked about earlier. So it's possible because we got this wall here. That Now, well, from which angle would that have been? I don't think that's a mutagen room because the doors... There, there should be no wall in front of the doors here if it was the mutagen room. There's no no direction you can come in from where you have a wall right in front of the doors. All of them have uh, open pathways to the center of the room. And you have uh, shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves type of arrangements. So I don't think that's the, the mutagen room that we talked about earlier. God damn, this place got lethal so fast. I'm super lucky he didn't step into that door. Possible I could have burst fired him down. We've got a gun in our hands ready to go that uh, could have killed it quick enough. So I don't think we would have died for a few reasons. If he didn't step into the door, as you can see, I could just close it again. If he did step into the door with the, um, the turrets, uh, things with guns like that have a 200 action point aiming time um, so you've got uh, a couple of rounds of movement you can do to get out of visual range I could switch off the light and sprint and try to get out of visual range so he can't shoot me I could step into the smoke so he can't shoot me I, I had a number of options there or, or I could just kill it um, with a burst shot from the, uh, the, the battle rifle so yeah I, I we wouldn't have died either way but I'm just a little flummoxed at the contents of this level of the lab Flummoxed, I say. All right, let's check this uh, southern room again, or for the first time. See if we have the same problem here. Is this not the one where I heard? Is this the one where I heard the combination mechanical and footsteps? Maybe I'm remembering the wrong room. We're hearing sounds in both. Mechanical whirring. That probably is either a taser or a man hack, most likely. Man, footstep. Um, there is nothing contained within this kind of room that would serve any purpose for me going in there. So this is one where I'm not even going to pop the door open to look. Just because I know the room designs and I know what the possibilities are here. There's absolutely nothing that that room could be that would hold anything I would care about. A scientist for a chance at a doctor's badge, I might open it for. But for mechanical whirring all by itself, it was probably one of the old um, security rooms that used to have turrets. And they replaced a lot of those with either security guards um, or the uh, manhacks and variants. So we're not going to do that one. But we'll, whoops. <laughs> He's coming out. Ah, Black Ops. All right, we, we got what we need to handle a Blops. I'm not too worried about a Blops. Get some range. Ah, oh, we went back in the room. I hate it when they do that stuff. Now I have to go get in point-blank range again in order to draw his attention and try to get him out of the room. It's so annoying when they do this stuff. Whoops. We have goo opportunities. Yeah, he's, he's hanging out in the corner of the room. I'm going to actually have to run into the room probably to kill him. So this is an example. This is the uh, the old turret room. 
where you had the computer and you had the turret on the table usually. There was that hilarious time that we had the turrets being misplaced out in hallways or in the other rooms. <laughs> that, was, that was a fun time, wasn't it? Everybody remember those good times? Map Gen kept doing that. So yeah, I'm going to have to go to sprint mode and go into the room. Otherwise, I'll step out to get his attention. He'll start moving. I'll leave. Then he'll go back into the corner. I'll kind of have to come back again. So it's just annoying. So we will uh, sprint into the room. Keep his attention. Get some distance, preferably. Whoops. Still in burst fire mode. Stop that. Take at least one more shot. Gonna go uh, around the computer, through the computer. We'll let him get one more space, then we'll take the shot. Oh crap. Grazing hit for nine. Now, that's not what I needed. Damn it. I don't want to do a bunch more. <sighs> I'm not sure I can run past him before he might get a chance to swap me. Try it. Cool. Got an extra little jump move there. Come on, you. Don't don't forget I'm here. Step out. Cool. Now that he's out of the room, we're okay. Another grenade would be nice. No grenade for us. Nothing fun. Okay. Still got two doors. Again, we're going to ignore that room. Oh, this is the subway entrance. All right, so apparently the subway comes down like so and then wraps around the uh, this, this edge of the lab. I don't know if I want to open that door. <laughs> Another lab journal. Weird, the way this thing's generated. Yeah, this is just weird all the way around. So it does this weird pivot, and then we got some of the tracks inside the room. Yeah, Subway went all wacky on my Science Lab map gen. I'm not, uh, I'm not going out to explore that. That's just, that's just pain out there. So. We're done down here. I'm wondering if the la or the subway screwed up this room too. Apartment complex. All right. Nothing usually inherently dangerous in here unless Map Gen puts a gun-toting robot in here with me. Any books? No good books. Antibiotics. Sure. That <laughs> narrow spectrum. No thanks. That's the weak sauce. Yeah, I am scared of that room to the north. <laughs> There's supposedly a room to the south of me? <laughs> Um, um, really? <laughs> um, the backside of the apartments aren't there. <laughs> God damn, this is the most messed up science lab map gen I've seen. Uh, that is some scary stuff. Okay, we're going to leave those rooms alone. Mechanical whirring and mechanical whirring. I'm not going in that room. I, I'm just not. I gotta, I gotta go at least poke this door. <laughs> it goes to a rock wall. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> it's funny. Good times. All right, so we got mechanical whirring here, huh? Standing still, standing still. I can't trust 
it, when I move, it makes the sound symbols, but yeah, definitely mechanical whirring. So. Uh. The hell made the banging noise? What made the banging noise? Yeah, standing still, we got mechanical whirring sitting at this door too. I don't think it's the same creature moving. Yeah, I'm standing still and I'm still seeing the symbols on occasion. It's not moving a lot, but. Yeah, not risking it. Not risking it. Too dangerous. Okay, so we got here how? <laughs> Over this way? I believe this is where we came in. Yeah, there's my, my pile of stuff. All right, we're going to go down again. I just don't like the looks of that room. Not, not going to do it. You going to let me peek? Cool. Footsteps, we are where? Five, so... Traditionally, it'll be the next floor, possibly, is the, the, the last. We haven't found the finale yet. Would be this room right here. Although, if I hear footsteps, that means the turrets aren't shooting it, so... A few possibilities. Workout room, some bandages, huh? Oh, first aid box. All right, somebody's breaking stuff. We'll wait. That one. There's the doctor's room. So what do you think is in the uh, the room here? The choices are generally shock zombie or variant or upgrade version, um, crawler, or, or nothing. That's that's most commonly what I find in there. It is the nothing version. So, if you have the quest to, what, is it Analyze Blood? I forget what the NPC quest is. But there's a quest where you have to do something with a centrifuge. And this is the place you do it. That computer console and centrifuge. That's your spot. Hold off on that for a moment. Whoops. Uh, we have goo and uh, nowhere else to go. So we have a door here, but we don't have a room here. That means a few things. High possibility that this would be the finale at this point. Only a few other possibilities for the way the map gen usually works. What do we got? Nothing. Oh, cyborg. Hey, buddy. Hey, fellow cyborg type person. Um, shall we get him gooed? I really don't want to get him gooed. He can just stay in that room. Ah, somebody already got slimed. I uh, really don't want to fight slimes. What? And hex acceptable. Um, yeah, I just don't have a good anti-slime solution. I don't want this slime to wander around. It'll jump into the goo pits and get bigger. Uh, a dissector room would be nice. You know, like this room. <laughs> Come here, slime. Get over here. Follow me. And he's going to sit there on the door because of the noise. Fine. 
surprised the slime is still alive. Ah, I didn't even notice. Stairs down, so we're not on the final floor. So we do have a level six or five levels of lab. Okay, so not the finale <laughs> once again. I'm going to end up stepping into that slime at some point. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. Gargoyle, thorny shambler, scientist, zombie, zombie. Ouch. All in places I don't want to try to get to this pulp. Hey, scientist. Oops. Hey, scientist. There was a doctor's badge, I would run in and get him. Fletcher's friend I would like, but uh eh. I don't know if I'd risk it for Fletcher's friend. Okay, so I mean I could make an attempt to run that room real quick, if nothing else, just to go through that gate and go to the south, but let's go uh go peek over there first. Somebody's breaking stuff. I'm gonna go around to the other door. What are we hearing over here? Against the door. Big old room of nothing. And no door that way either. Weird. That means it's for for standard map gen. That means this has got to lead to a barracks or one of the the endpoint room. All right, let's go up and pop that door. I'm curious enough. My escape route is here. Standard scientist is no problem. Yep, yeah, it's uh, it's open. That is an open prisoner containment, and usually an open prisoner containment means a skell jug or a hulk or something like that. Hmm. Which I can deal with if I have to. You're gonna die? Yes, you're gonna die. Come on. Anytime now. <laughs> Anytime now. Oh, bad bleeding is only bleeding now. Damn it! <laughs> now he's the minor bleeding and he still hasn't died. Don't make me, don't make me butt stroke you. But I missed the butt stroke. <laughs> God dang it, that's annoying. Oh, come on, doctor's badge. I need a doctor's badge. Oh... That's one of the only reasons you go to prisoner containment, or I go to prisoner containment, is uh, for the chance of a couple of scientists. But I'm worried what else is in here. And that wall has been breached, and that containment's been breached. What do we got? Root still in containment. Not worried about you. So, if you do decide to go into prisoner containments, this shelf here has a chance for medical supplies. And every once in a while, there'll be something in the lockers here that's interesting. Other than that, it's just usually this couple of scientists, one to two scientists that might appear in this entry area. But um, there's locked containment back here with some lockers and shelves that have, can, can have medical supplies. But you got to go through like multiple doors and blow torch or jackhammer your way in. And it's just not worth it. It's not worth it. Hey, we got broad spectrum. Look at that. Well, that's pretty good. Other than that, that's about the only reasons I come here. Oh, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. No joy for us. Okay, so... South now.
Another three by three. Teleporter. Oh, it's the alternate three by three. The hacksaw. Prussia blue. I think this is one of the locations where you can get a doctor's badge on a shelf. We already have that one. Uh, 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 grab the Prussian. Ooh, do we have a vault? We have a vault! A vault of some kind. Which kind of vault are you? You are the mutagen vault. Not on my high priority list. <laughs> Good old vortex device. Let's not go over there quite yet. Care about you. And another vault. Well, that's pretty cool uh, map gen. Autoclave again. This one is the bionic. The computer access is on the other side. On the south side, uh, with this arrangement, it's on the south side. I think that makes a difference. Not 100%. I'll see enough of these. Um, again, we can't really hack it effectively right now, so we're going to make a note. We shall. What did I just do to myself? <laughs> what the hell room is that? That's the doctor's office room. This, yeah, that's the right dimensions. All right, so something's in here killing things. Up the other side. And it broke out of here. High likelihood, well, no. Shock zombie wouldn't kill a scientist zombie. Uh, I'm all sorts of paranoid. We had noise up here with the uh, blob sitting on that door. The thing could be in there now. I don't see bullet casings on the ground. Leave that alone for the moment. We'll take the makes warm less nervous route first. Goo pits. Or goo pits. Alright, footsteps again. Um. Flavoring Biter. What is that going to be? A containment room? Why they're not... So it's not a uh, Migo in containment if it is the containment room. Just run away. Oh, Brute. That was a Brute. I saw a Brute come around the corner there. Good timing, though. Good lineup here. Damn, he made it a lot of spaces towards me. One more to kill him, but that'll put the brute right in my face. Um, let's see. Don't like how close that flavoring biter is. I might be able to. I want to run north again. Let's I do that. South and around fight in the teleporter room then I'll probably get gibbed that'd be hilarious it'd be an awesome way to go out I have yet to go out by getting uh, telefragged at least I don't think I've ever been telefragged I've, t I've been the telefragger I don't think I've ever been the telefraggy <laughs> wasn't the old style obsoleted no not yet it's still around just a lot less numerous it's way rare now you're lucky if you get one per entire overworld map section. You gotta really put effort into finding the old style science labs nowadays. Research facility is still easiest way to find one. I have been telefragged. 
I don't remember. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't surprise me too much. Too hard to remember all that stuff. All right, what am I going to do here? I could take a quick shot at the biter to try to finish it. That's somewhat dangerous, and he can hurt me a lot very quickly. And then I got to make sure I either get the door closed or I get backed off fast enough to take more shots at the brute. Um, I got a lot of narrow or short areas here unless I back all the way up to this room. And it'll burn too much stamina to get there. What I want to avoid is getting to a point where I shut the door and have to reopen it because they'll be right next to me when I reopen it. So that's what I'm trying to trying to remember or try to avoid. Let's chance it. What the hell number are we going to get? I don't want him to get more than two spaces closer to me. Damn, this thing aims fast. A rifle is the stuff. Look at that. We're already at 100%. Take the shot. We still got good room on the, on the brute. Cool. We'll let him get a few spaces, take a shot, and then a few spaces, take a shot. This is why you bring the big gun. <laughs> it's got its advantages. Aim speed being one of them. Glorious. Glorious. Okay. Um, how many bullets do I have now? 46 currently. We've got some up in the vehicle. I just have to go up and get them. I forget how many we looted from the bunker. I don't have a huge supply of them, though. So, little zombies like this I should be fighting in melee. I'm just so burdened right now with all this new gear I've put on and stuff that I'm kind of hesitant to do so. 68 or so right now. Ugh. Oh, that's right. I got the, the hiking backpack loaded up and then we've got the two different vests. We are torso protected, but also uh, melee combat not approved. All right, I'll just waste another bullet. And minor bleed. Damn it, it's going to take two bullets. What a waste. Kill a slavering biter with two, and I have to use two on a stupid regular zombie. Okay, apparently we have uh, we have thunder rolling into my local area here. If I disappear suddenly, it's uh, it's a power outage due to weather. <laughs> I don't know if you guys could hear that thunder. It wasn't tremendously loud, but it was really really long and rolling. Real life thunder. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so breached containment, right? Whoa, nope. <laughs> Trashed radio room. I guessed wrong. Another room to the west. I'm thinking that might go to a library, barracks, prisoner containment. We still got that scary doctor's room in the middle. Barracks! It's another barracks! Oh, another barracks. That means I have to bring the torch down. It's a bit of a trip. Go get one. Uh, note. Please don't reach all the way down here and touch me, electricity. That would be rude. Hey, Doctor Corpse of the Soul. Fished. Um... I'd like to get a look at the far corner. Shock me. Shock me. All right, there's no door going to the west. We're back out of here. None of that can get out and bother me. Well, the scientist could open the door, but... Okay, so we have a barracks. That's it, other than the scary middle room. And, of course, my exit is on the other side. The stairs I've been using. Um, and the stairs down are in the middle. <laughs> there and there. 
I think I'll um, I'll go up here and we'll check the stairs down up here. That should take us to the final floor, and then we'll uh, we'll deal with the the, uh, the barracks and decide if I want to break into these. If I do, I'm gonna need to bring more gas. Still no doctor's badge, though. It's not looking good for us getting hold of a doctor's badge in the lab itself. We're gonna have to brave the research facility, which is not healthy. Uh, yeah, let's go peek now. Oh, wait. This is now a situation where I could peek myself right into the finale room. As small as these floors have been, if the trend continues, I might peek down right into the finale. That could be bad. Risk it. Sure. Oh, they're not letting me peek. I hate that. <laughs> Walk downstairs, get shot. Uh, it's not my favorite way to go out. Mm. All right, I didn't get shot. It put us in another barracks. Well, that's kind of handy. An occupied barracks. Footsteps. So we have two more barracks to check out. I'm still kind of nervous. There's a tendency with final floors having uh, barracks attached directly to the finale. Happens pretty often. Not hearing anything move south of me, so at least something shouldn't be able to get into the doorway with me, so I think we're okay to open the door. Eek. Oh, well, there's the finale. We found the finale, and it's a fairly useless finale for me, unfortunately. What do we got? Raptor mutagen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One raptor mutagen. Risk death by four turrets for a single raptor mutagen. Good thing I didn't go down the stairs in that other room. That other room, the scary room to the north, had the stairs down as well. There's the stair. <laughs> There's lights right next to each of the turret, or those two turrets at least. All right, we have no reason to fight this. We'll uh, we'll try to deal with the barracks. It's a little hairy situation because it could be bio-operators or something nasty right here. And I have no retreat path to fight in. Normally I would pop the door back off and then shoot them as they came to me, but we don't have that choice. So that could be rough. We have stairs, so I mean, you know, maybe. But we're definitely not going into that room. And there's no door there, there's no door there. Possibly there's a door here, I can't tell, and there's no way for me to find out without stepping down those stairs or getting shot. So we'll never know. Only thing we have to do here is the barracks. So we're, we're basically done. Lab is complete. Other than uh, looting the two barracks if I can, and uh, possibly that bio, or the uh, bionic. So we're going to ignore this room. Again, I know the room, and there's nothing in there that's going to warrant me going in there. So we're going to totally ignore that. So it's upstairs, grab the uh, torch and whatever else I might want, and then shuffle my way back down to deal with these. And then we can move to the real danger, the upper floors of the research facility. At least we got a fairly easy path up and out. And I think this is my only drop point for stuff. We'll drag that out with us. Yeah, nice short trip. Cool. Okay. Um, I brought no extra welding. Oh, I did bring an extra welding tank. Awesome. So we'll grab that and that. And I will remember. <laughs> I have the goggles. Okay. We'll probably just drag any heavier excess stuff out. So I'm not going to worry about carry capacity all that much. We're overweight, but that's fine. Uh, let's drop other stuff. Actually, let's drop... Um, 
What do you think? Armored leather vest or the ballistic vest? I have to do a comparison. Stop it. Compare inventory. Show me that. That. So, 100% torso only versus 90% torso only. The leather vest loses in all regards in that, so they're both torso only. 100% versus 90, and only 15 warmth versus 30. <laughs> I like the way it considers warmth to be a good thing. <laughs> There's w exactly one season where that uh, green is valid. <laughs> Every other season, three quarters of the time, you want this to be a low number. So that's stupid. Why is the one quarter of the time taking precedence over, you know, <laughs> less warmth is better? Why? That's backwards. All right, I call dumb. Somebody go fix that. Um, what else? So we've got eight encumbrance versus 14. Again, the leather vest loses. And what are we looking at here? Yeah, it's just worse in every way. So I think it's time to dump our armored vest. It's got carry capacity. It's got pockets. <laughs> pockets are pretty powerful. But I don't think it's powerful enough. What, what, what kind of weight are we talking about? 12? Oh, well, it's it's twice as heavy. So it, uh, or at least the vest wins the how heavy is it category. And, um, hey, the ballistic vest doesn't conduct electricity either. Look at that. So if you smash somebody with one, you won't get shocked. Or you smash a so shock zombie with one, you won't get shocked. All right. Yeah, let's, uh, it's time to ditch the armored vest. So let's unload armored vest. We'll drop it for now. Anything else I want to take with me? We are planning on having to fight at least once. One location, that is. Nah, I think the rest can stay. Yeah, let's go do it. Down. At least they had mercy on me with the map. Almost all the way. Just gotta cross one section. Alright, so let's... Uh, what am I gonna do with the vaults? I don't think I'm gonna mess with the mutagen vault. I'm probably gonna leave the mutagen stuff behind. It's just too much to deal with with one character. I'd rather focus Dr. Doogie on uh, CBMs only. We're not going to do any any uh, CBM stuff this or uh, uh, any um, mutagen stuff this round. So, do I want to try to crack this? I need. Ouch! I've got. I, I got to go do the barracks first. A full tank is only going to get me in four doors. I've got what five uses? I've got five uses. I think I have exactly enough because I need two per barracks to get through the, the front door into the barracks and then another to get through the armory. So that's four for the barracks to deal with completely and then one for this door and that would tap me out on the uh, acetylene gas that I've got here down, with, down here with me. But let's do the barracks first. We'll do this one on our way out, I think. I don't remember. This is, this is the one that has noise. <laughs> they both have noise. This one I can retreat out of, though. Or no noise? Where's the noise coming from? Weird. Okay. Um, fine. A lean torch. Peek. Peek again. They're trapped in the rooms. That's a dangerous thing. Uh-oh. Door's open. Opening. Who's in there? Just a regular old soldier. 
No problem. At least give me uh, one of these guys at least. <laughs> well, there you go. I, I mentioned earlier. I mentioned we got some custom t-shirts now, apparently. <laughs> My little Nazgul t-shirt. Does it have any more description on it? A light gray t-shirt with a drawing of a Nazgul riding a black horse. All drawings are done in the style of old My Little Pony cartoons. <laughs> that seems to be appropriate soldier tactical gear. Unfortunately, all I care about him from him is that. Oh, we got somebody trying to break out of another one of the doors. Ah, all right, that one's a little tougher. Need to back up so I get a couple shots on him. One more at least. Get some distance so I don't get punched into a concrete wall. Is that it? Are we are we are we clear? We're clear. Um hey, fitted pants. I'll take some fitted pants. I think I'm gonna get much use out of that this run, but sure, we'll grab. Combat shirt, holster. Fitted. All right, mostly just standard stuff. Um, do we have actual sound instead of that fake phantom sound that I'm making? Like we don't. Cool. Fortune. Reload. There's more stuff. Ah! <laughs> hey there, Mr. Turret. Well, we have our ammo supply. Yay! Assuming I don't keep using the battle rifle. All right. What, what do we see so far? Sig 553, some magazines of various types, Scar H, more magazines, some flechette rounds, H and K, and yeah, nothing too exciting so far. Um, do I grenade it for this stuff? Well, I got to grenade it anyway because I I want the uh, I want the ammo. So let's go ahead and uh, drop the battle rifle. Oh crap! I have no no throwing skill. No throwing skill. So, if I peek to here, then throw, I believe the worst possible case is it lands here. Might still kill the turret. And I should get far enough. I might... I don't think I'll get the door closed. I think it'll go off before I get the door closed. Good old grenade chucking with zero throwing skill. You know, not recommended. <laughs> Yeah, we'll move the rifle so it doesn't take any shrapnel damage. Don't worry. Get it behind a few walls. Shall we throw the happy fun ball or a grenade? Let's let's throw let's throw the happy fun ball. Okay, happy fun ball is ready. Now remember, kids, when uh, the grenade or when the pin is pulled, Mr. Grenade is no longer your friend. So we're going to. Uh, up to this position. The plan is to peek to here. It's a, yeah, the, the grenade will take care of that turret, even if it lands right at my feet, literally. So it's just a matter of how much damage I'm going to take. All right, activate happy fun ball. Peek. 
Do here. Throw. Happy fun ball. Do here. Run. Ah, I didn't quite make it far enough. I figured. I knew we were going to take some damage. Watch the turret still be there. That'd be hilarious. Hilarious. All right, turret's taken care of. We're deaf. We're bleeding. Nah, we're not bleeding. We're okay. Uh, wield. Do not, do not, do not forget about your rifle. So, like I said, now we have our 556 supply secured. What's in here? Uh, don't care about any of the weapons. Don't care about any of the magazines other than the belts of ammo. And some codeine. That's it. <laughs> codeine. That's, that's my choice. <clears throat> Oh, the good old MK23 mod 0 plus 2. Every kid's best friend. World's only crew served pistol. <laughs> Don't care. Even fully loaded. Never use it. Um... We damaged the H and K, huh? I don't have a gunsmith kit or a firearm kit. I haven't put one together. Don't think I have all the parts. Damaged the scar as well. I feel so dirty. All of them. <laughs> um, do I care though? I mean, we got the battle rifle. I, I think we've got like, I forget how many. Did we pick up like 120 rounds? I mean, we'll blow through that pretty quick if I just start going crazy in the research facility upper floors and anywhere else. Um, and it is fairly hard to come by. Hmm. Tell you what, we'll take them. We're just going to drag everything upstairs anyway. Okay, I don't think I care about anything else in here. We get these to the far side. Our stair down is there. So yeah, let's just go ahead and roll around to the stairs. Deposit this stuff. We'll head to the other one. Where more danger will occur. about the shuffling I don't care I bet <laughs> whatever good enough This is the more dangerous one. No maneuvering room. If there's more than one of uh, like a bio operator waiting for me, I could be in big trouble. Bio op, I could at least hope to uh, burst fire down. Can't reload. Really many options here. So pop the door and see what happens. Giving me some maneuvering room. Well, howdy there. Mr. Bio-Operator, please just be a single one. Cool, got some room. Step up, please. Sixty-eight. Down he goes. 
Anybody else make a noise? 50. IFAC and a military car. Uh, I'm, I don't think I'm going to grab much out of here. I've got, I think, most of the stuff that I would care about, plus a couple of spares. <laughs> I was going, what? The, almost couldn't see the t-shirt entry at the end there. Black t-shirt with a picture of a woman standing in front of a yawning portal with numerous cats surrounding her and exiting the portal. Portal of the cat dimension. Oh, and make me break my rifle bashing down a stupid door that's nice uh baton hey i finally have my uh my anti-blob weapon <laughs> Yeah, we'll grab one more of those. Alright. Don't hear anything. Might have a... Uh... Might have a turret, might not. Well, definitely has a turret. That's a little tougher one there. That is a lot tougher. Hmm. Browning Auto, 1014. I can't see anything I care about so far, but I can't see, of obviously, the entire place. It's lit in there, so I can't shoot it from the dark, which would be a bad idea anyway. I'd have to burn another hole in the door. And then rely on my weak throwing skill. I might have to just leave this one. I, I don't like the arrangement here. It'd be really tough for me to get a grenade into that far enough to have a good chance of killing the turret. It might happen, but I, I just don't think there's going to be much in the way of reward in here. I can already see a little over half of the available loot. I need none of that stuff. And I've got enough torch gas for one more use. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave this one alone. I just don't think the possible reward is worth it. We get to the top. And I still got a lot of gas in the, the truck, maybe. I don't remember how much acetylene gas I have. I might have brought the entire supply. <laughs> we might be going bingo on uh, acetylene. Yeah, let's, uh, let's leave this one alone. Okay, what's left? Just that uh, bunker. Do we pop it open? Chances are there's nothing in it. I guess I should go look, see if the manifest says anything. Can I even see the manifest with zero skill? Hey, I don't remember. Immediate bypass security, so no. Next problem is possibility of robot or turret inside that room. Let's uh, drop that, yield that, activate that, smash that, reactivate that, rewield that. All right, so we got our lighting under control. We won't be lit up by the computer screen, the dim light that it provides into the side areas. So if there's light and a turret squished into this little tiny corridor here, we could be in trouble. Yeah. 
speak. One CBM integrated multi-tool. I could care less about an integrated multi-tool. We'll tag it because it's here, but uh, I don't think that was worth the 60 gas we just burned to get it. All right, we're done. I think we're done. Got to drag our crap back up to the RV if we can manage to get to it and um, plan our trip into the building, the upper floors. There is the pile of stuff. It's a bit of a pile. I'm at 137 pounds already, so I'm 40 pounds over with what I'm already carrying. This is 240 pounds and 84 liters. Um, I should be able to get it up to the ground floor without a problem, but trying to drag that amount across the concrete to the vehicle, I'm not going to try, I don't think. But we're no, We know it's clear. Still nighttime, that's a good thing. We could pop our infrared goggles on and uh, do the shuffle across the pavement. All right, so drag all the things. Hopefully nobody has managed to get out. I'm gonna have to hit ignore on every single space I move. <laughs> every single space. Hey, for whatever reason, it has decided to stop making ignore. <laughs> yes, that is annoying. It annoys me also. Okay, turn off the headlamp. Well, oh, that's right. We have a full, full moon, don't we? Yeah, we'll be able to do this. Drag that out of the way. Shift. There. Drag path is clear. What I anticipate is something that I can't see is going to get to go move 400 times because I'm taking a minute and a half to move a single space, dragging all this stuff. Not the safest thing to do. Okay, there, but things off the concrete, we are in. 